to some sense of normalcy here in Tampa Bay, along with weekend events. And uh, certainly makes my job a little bit more exciting when things are happening in Tampa Bay. I bet. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, where should we begin? Sure. I'll let um, you take the lead. Well, first off, we're going to be headed to the Tampa Convention Center for a weekend-long event. MetroCon in Tampa is finally here after being canceled last year. It's finally made its way back once uh, things are finally getting back to normal. And this is a full weekend event. Uh, there will be tons of vendor vendors and uh, you know lots of events throughout the weekend and chances to meet all types of people uh, in the MetroCon world. And I got to tell you, like you know, you'll see all types of uh, costumes and cosplay here at this type of event people definitely dress up and not to mention now they have you know dance raves there as as well there's a little something for everyone this weekend uh tickets cost around 35 dollars but certainly a time to uh kind of reach out your comfort zone a little bit and maybe dress up a little cosplay so yeah i got metrocon going on this weekend uh it's going to go on from friday all the way through sunday you know, true story, Zach, uh, when I lived down in the area of the convention center on Harbor Island when my husband and I first moved here, I loved this weekend because we get to sit back and see all of the amazing costumes and cosplay that's out there. I was always floored by it. They go all out. It is so impressive. It's not a costume. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. For it me. is. You know, so, it hey, I'm there for it. Okay, so uh, this next spot you're taking to, you know, is dear to my heart. Boy, do I love my roller coasters. Do I love my animals? Do I love my theme parks? We get to talk Bush Gardens. That's right. Summer nights, finally coming back uh, to Tampa Bay and then Bush Gardens this summer. Uh, they're going to be open until 10 p.m. with fireworks each and every night. So that's certainly something to be keeping an eye out for. Bush Gardens, always fun, day or night. Uh, I like that. Hey, let's head south, though, shall we? And, and take care yeah. of our viewers down south or maybe give people up here a reason to head south. A little uh, Ringling talk. I know. I love the Ringling down in Sarasota. This is $25 to go check out. And uh, this is woman in prints at the Ringling. And so they're going to be focusing on historic circus posters that were kind of you know, really bringing out unique individuals, those that were, you know, bringing out and and, and imprint at the time. Uh, and certainly, I got to tell you, this is something very unique. They have so many different uh, presentations and, and, and art galleries that go through the Ringling each and every week. But this is certainly something to check out. Women in print at the Ringling starts at $25. And uh, doors open at 10 a.m. on Saturday. So why not go check out the beautiful grounds there? I mean, you can stay there all day almost just because there's so much to check out right there at the Ringling. True story. I have yet to go there. I need to do that. You know what else, though? There, Natalie. I know. You know what else that we all need to do? We need to support our teams as we continue our Champa Bay title. Let's Absolutely. talk a little rowdies today. I know. We're continuing the Champa Bay rally here. So uh, the, the rowdies are going to be taking on uh, Lou Down United FC on Saturday night at 730 right there at Owl Lane Stadium. Tickets cost around 15 bucks. So uh, certainly go out and see some soccer action. You know, we got the Rays are doing great. Uh, the Bolts obviously coming off a back-to-back a -back championship win, and uh, we're waiting for the Bucks to take off. So why not go see some soccer action right there in downtown St. Pete? I can't go wrong there. You know what else you can't go wrong with? A good wing. It is like my family's mission to find the best wings in the Bay Area, and it's always ongoing. And why not a chicken wing challenge right there in St. Petersburg, Three Daughters Brewing. For $10, you can check out all types of wings and get a free beer with that as well. So uh, definitely got to go check out the fourth annual chicken wing challenge right there at Three Daughters Brewing in St. Petersburg. Uh, tickets cost around 10 bucks, But like I said, there's five food trucks. You get a, a wing from each one. And uh, you definitely get to vote for your favorite. So why not go check out some tasty wings? You know, and last but not least, let's talk a little movie. Uh, my family and I have some fun with this movie right now because my daughter is all about dinosaurs, yet she's four. So oh. her uncle, my younger brother, is always like, hey, let's go ahead and show her Jurassic Park. I'm like, no, not yet. A little too intense for her, but so many people love this classic. Gotta love it. And why not go see it at the historic Tampa Theater as well? So you're not only seeing a great classic film, but in a classic theater as well. And tickets cost only 10 bucks. So you really can't go wrong with uh, going to go see a classic film in such a unique uh, theater such as the Tampa Theater. So you can't go wrong. Only 10 bucks right there in downtown Tampa. I literally just have like a permagrin watching these highlights. I mean, Jeff Goldblum and just the music alone. You know, when you hear that one song, you know, you're talking Jurassic Park. So what a good one to end on. Zach, job well done. And you are sticking around. I hope everybody at home also sticks around because we have more show coming to you right after the break.